So we have Sammy Sheldon, who's worked on mm. films such as The Imitation Game, which is nominated this year. And we have Jeannie Tamim, who's worked on lots of the Harry Potter films, Bond, Skyfall, the current Bond, um, also Gravity. And we have Steve Noble here, who's nominated for The Theory of Everything this year. So I'd quite like to start with just some general questions before we get to the specifics of the, the, the recent films that you've been working on. Um, about process and what happens from the moment when you receive the script in terms of your contribution to the film and costume? Sammy, we'll start with you. Um, well, usually uh, I read the script and then um, depending on where it is in time, whether it's modern or period, you, you'll research, if it's period, research a period. And then I'll also do some abstract research into my emotional response to the script from a characteristic point of view. Um, and then you ca I kind of start putting boards together um, and then from those boards I start drawing and, and then the process of making beyond that. Um, and it's just a case of, you know, personifying from your research really. And is that the same every <clears throat> time? I think I, I, I basically do a similar method every mm. time but you have to adapt your method to each film because each film is totally different. Okay. Yeah. Is that the same for you, Steve? Exactly You're nodding. Same. Yes, <laughs> yeah. So um, what, I, what I love is that the first time you ever read a script, and I, th I just think it, because it's so fresh and you haven't read it before, and it's the same as an audience going in to see the film for the first time. You're reading the script for the first time, and your, how you perceive each character is just, I think it's just so important for that first ever read that you, that you you do, and I mean, when I first read it, I do make lots and lots of notes to go to the interview with the director and the producers. Okay. And then, as, as Sammy said, you just immerse yourself in whatever world you're you're going into with the script, and it starts with just masses of research, doing mood boards, and then you know if there's things, costumes to be made and designed, then you start drawing, fabric researching, and then it just goes on from there and. And it's a very organic process, isn't it, you know, yeah. that... I don't know, I, yeah. I always thought, I read the script and after that, I like to talk to the director. I want to know what he wants, what yeah. is his vision, because I think that it's his film before being my film, and I want to know what he has in mind. And then, before starting myself, eh, like like you do, I, I really spend some time with the director because I think it's we work for him. Absolutely, it's not our yeah, exactly. Yeah, so so yeah, so yeah. you. I think that it's better to. Of course, we have a first impression. We, yes. we read the script. We have a first impression mm -hmm. straight away for what what we think. But before but project, don't you find that you yeah. normally go back to that first impression that you ever had? I don't know. I don't know because. I like to work with director, which are, I will work with director, which are very strong. Mm. Uh, actually, I will more yeah, choose for a director yeah. than to choose for a script. For the script, that's interesting. Because we we have to spend a year of our life yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would working agree with, with somebody. Yeah. And and I tell it's you, really if it's not somebody we we love and we respect, it's unbearable. Mm. And it's really true. It, it, it's it's yeah. really true. Like you just said, you you had a wonderful time because. Yeah. Apple was so wonderful, you know. I mean, you had the chance of working with a director who understood. I, this is so important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting. Um, but and what, and to what extent, um, at what, well, at what stage do you know who's going to be cast? You're well, saying yes to a project before the cast? Well, you know, uh, every, every single script we work on, they, we have a script and then they are changed. They keep on changing. <coughs> I mean, I think that on the bond that I'm working on now, we are maybe on the 12th script. Mm -hmm. So every yeah. script has been changing. You know, I have been, are we going there? Are we going there? Is he killing that? No, he's exactly. killing that. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, if I had to choose the, the film because of the script, I would have chosen with one, yeah, number course, one, number yeah. two, number 12. Yeah. Now, well, so with, I would it's 50-50, director and, and, and script and yeah. everything else. And we have but to like the story, yeah, yeah. Um, because absolutely. we had the story. Yeah. But the, the film I've just finished, um, we didn't have a script in the end. And what was so that? you see that you choose the director and not the script. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, okay. Um, a monster calls. Okay. Um, are there any questions out there? Please do raise your hand if you have anything that you'd like to ask. Yes. Um, what advice would you give to people who are trying to starting out fresh in their career? 
Sammy, you go first. Uh, I would say, um, oh gosh, uh, depends where you are in starting exactly, out. Yeah, well, what, uh, it's what like where, yeah. The well, um, so graduated in July, having done set and costume design, trained in theatre, now starting in short films. And I've done four or five short films now, but really wanting to try and break into doing features, just starting sort of bottom of the pile, wanting to learn as much as possible, but sort of making that step is it's proving quite difficult. I, mean, I think it's, you're doing pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you do your degree? Uh, Royal Central School of Speech and Drama. Okay. Um, I, yeah, I mean, you're doing, if, if you've already done some films, that's awesome. Yeah, that's so, great. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> I mean, it's just a case of plugging on with, you know, getting people to know what you've done and, and making contacts. It's all about, you know, it's all about who contacts. you know. Yeah, absolutely. Really, just... It's all about being good. I mean, making the contacts yeah. first. Of course, first, yeah. first yeah. Absolutely. Learn yeah. your talent, job. Talent which, helps. <laughs> yeah. But is there, is there sort of um, mileage in somebody approaching a costume designer who they really love their work and sort of saying, can I kind of come and Th work there with is. you in I mean, some way? You know, absolutely. You should, that's, that is the way to do it, is you write to their agent, usually. Yeah. But, um, you know, it depends what... I mean, I get a lot of people writing to me. I'm sure you guys do too. Um, <clears throat> and it just depends at the time what you're well, doing, yeah, exactly. where you are in the world, um, as to whether you can actually, you know, I always keep what everyone sends me. In fact, I normally send it to the person who supervises for me all the time. And we keep a log of everyone that writes to us, but which is, <laughs> <laughs> well, the interesting one. Yeah, but how do you know which one is interesting? <laughs> well, you do, I don't, I mean, you, can, you can never tell, but, or, yeah. But I had an interesting thing that happened on stage. They have a driving license. That's yeah. what you're calling it. Or they're a cobbler. <laughs> No, we take three trainees by film. Yeah, you I mean, take, you, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You, you know, we do always. I think it's really important that we give back to, from where we came from. Absolutely. Um, and and you know, it's it's interesting. I've just done a film in America where I it, it really made me realise what opportunity yeah. over here we have yeah. in comparison to over there because they do not have a trainee situation. You have to be in the union, or that's it. Yeah. And to get in the union is really hard. So for me, I, I started to realise just how much. You know, you are, yeah. in in England, yeah. it's it's you know, if you can get on a film as a trainee, that's the key to starting in in a, a team, um, you know, and it, it it you know, it's talent, contacts, and just being you know determined to to get there in in a in an attitude that is kind of would fit into a team. Exactly, yes. You, that's you, a really, really and, and to write a CV where you don't say, I love that job, I have been seeing all your film, and yeah. I want to work with you, yeah, because we receive 50 a day of those yeah. ones. I think you have to slightly say... <laughs> no, no, that's what they I say, like I'm not word. saying that. No, that's that's think, you know, you need to sort of say that, you know, they've followed your career and, you know, I'd love to work with you a little bit, I think. But um, also keep your CV short. Short. Because, <laughs> you know, yeah. I've had Ten pages a few longer, CVs yeah. recently, and it's just like... You know, and it's just on and on and on and on, and they've, they've, they've described every single job they've done and into into detail. Just yeah. just keep it very simple, and just bullet points, and um, and just tell that you like to make coffee and tea, <laughs> and that you, <laughs> you can, can drive. drive. <laughs> uh, no, because that's what they do. Uh, so what really, skills really what important. skills are they bringing with them? Presumably, but I try. I try what I try to do with trainees is that I try to give them a a, a complete across the board experience of working in a in a costume department. Yeah. So, you know, they won't just be making tea and coffee or doing returns at the shops that, you know, stuff that you've rejected after fittings and things. You know, I'll try and give them as much mm. as I possibly can, you know, yep. of experience that they would, they would go through. And, you know, I like to work, my, when I get a team together, I like people to, no matter who they are within my team, and this is why I put them all together, is that, you know, I want to have their opinion of what they think about what I'm doing, you know, for principal characters as well as backgrounds and, and everything else. And I love everyone to have an opinion. Um, I'm afraid we're out of time, but that's been brilliant. So please join me in thanking Sammy, Jani and Steve.